Welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcrafting and uh, we're continuing our uh, ongoing series on uh, the very large and uh, largely encompassing uh, bug out bag. Now uh, here we go this is these little bags are sealed up and there again it's another dollar store item and inside is a complete change of clothing. Now there aren't extra shoes in here, but everything else, complete set of uh, clothing change. And I have uh, three of these. So I have three complete changes of clothes that goes into my bag. Now, uh, you can see this is actually blackened and, and charred up. And this is uh, one of the uh, containers that I make my char cloth with. And in here, in this container, is actually some of the char cloth that I made. And, and uh, if you watch my other videos, you can, you can, see, uh, you can see that. Now, along with uh, along with that, I also got this little pouch in there. Now, I made this pouch out of uh, out of some deer skin. Pretty nice, and I got a piece of flint strike in there. And I put that in there just for storage. Uh, uh, this I'm not going to open this up. If you watch my other videos, you'll see this is my napping kit, and I did a uh, I did a video specifically on this little set right here. So this is my napping kit. Uh, get this out of the way real quick. Again, this is another one of those large bags, and I'm not going to open this up either because if you watch my other videos, this is the kit on the pepper spray. This is a nice little prepper kit for uh, pepper spray. So if you want to see that specifically, you can watch my videos. Uh, I carry some zip ties and I've done a few videos on making handcuffs out of these. And like I said before, these are the ones at least this thick if you want them to actually work. So anyway, I keep uh, several handcuffs pre-made and I have a few of these zip ties that actually can be used for you know uh, holding things around trees or there's just countless amounts of uses for zip ties. Uh, I do have I keep an axe with me in my large kit. This is uh, my fishing kit, one of my fishing kits. I have many several. But this is uh, one that I keep in my very large ruck. And again, uh, this is the one that I did the video on. So if you want to uh, take a closer look at this one, uh, go ahead and take a look at my uh, fishing, uh, this one here on the fishing section that I have. Uh, I do have a, a light. I got plenty of flashlights running around all over the place can never have too many flashlights but anyway it's got a nice little hook on the back so I can actually hang it up like a, you know I can hang it up in a tent or in a, in a shelter of some sort or on a tree outside or whatever whatever use I have for it but anyway it's a little flashlight uh, this here these are uh, water filters so and uh, if you've seen my video on my uh, five gallon bucket water filter system that I made, these, these right here are the uh, water filters that I used. So I have three of these that's, that's uh, still in the packaging. So, uh, you know, I'll have plenty of uh, ability to filter water, water. This is a little, this came from the dollar store as well. It's a little like chamois type 
you know, sham wow, whatever they call them, little rags that absorb massive amounts of water. Uh, use this from everything is from, uh, you know, drying off and things like that because this absorbs a lot of water or, uh, you know, countless, countless different uses for this. You can actually use it to absorb water, uh, like dew. If you're collecting dew or whatever, this would absorb a lot of dew more than a regular rag. But uh, I made sure I grabbed one of these to put in there. Let's see what else here. We have these little baggies. I, did, I always like to have little bags and you know, satchels and catch-alls or whatever, but these actually had like sheets and pillowcases and stuff in them, but I didn't want to get rid of the bags because, you know, who knows what you could use them for. Take this and secure it in this bag so that it doesn't get all nasty, which is where it should have been in the first place. There we go. So let's see here. I do have a, a small bag of Ranger Bands, all different kinds of sizes and shapes for who knows how many uses. I have uh, a small peanut butter container full of uh, pantyhose. And I have a large one. These things are great water filters and all many manners of uses they have. Uh, and also my bread ties and like I said the uh, pantyhose and the bread ties have a video amongst themselves uh, and then my uh, sewing kit again if you uh, want to see this in more detail uh, it's I've got a video specifically with this sewing kit uh, going back to uh, the stand down, I have uh, two pairs of gloves that were given to me at the stand down. They're two pairs of work gloves. And uh, one thing that the Army taught me was that these things are invaluable. So I've got me a couple pair of those. Then we're going to work into here's another fishing kit it's a pill uh, separator. You know, it's got the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so on and so forth thing. Each one of these little compartments holds uh, hooks and sinkers and leaders and all kinds of little... It's a, basically just a little small fishing kit. You can never have too many fishing kits, I can tell you that. And keep them separated into many different areas. So here we got some uh, water purifying tablets. another compass this I found out out in the woods while I was roaming around it's uh, some kind of brick like a chunk of brick but uh, it writes on pretty much everything it writes on cement it writes on trees it writes on pretty much everything I've tried to try to mark on it and it makes this really nice reddish coloring so this is I use this as a pen as a pencil as a marker that sort of thing. Uh, then this little item here, uh, as you can see that, I found this at a local uh, reservoir that we have. And this was, uh, the, it was uh, very, very shallow uh, at the time I was out there walking around. And I found this, which would normally be covered up by, uh, by water. And a uh, nice little hole for a, a spindle. Use it as a, as a bow to hold. Uh, so anyway, as a, as a fire starter. I don't know if this is something somebody recently has made or whether this is something that's uh, old and, you know, was used a long, long time ago or whether it's just some kind of modern thing that somebody has created. I have no idea, uh, but I like it. And uh, I found it. If anybody has any ideas, uh, feel free to get a hold of me and let me know. I'd be really interested. And I may do a video just specifically on this. Now that I think about it, just to try to find out. And lastly, just a couple rocks. There's absolutely nothing unique about these. They're just two rocks. But 
rub them together. It's a it's a squirrel call. It really works. It uh, makes the noise of squirrels chirping, or uh, you can make a sound of uh, squirrels breaking acorns or nuts open. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, I just picked up a couple rocks one day and was doing that out in the woods and gathered a nice little array of squirrels around to come and see what I was doing. So now I keep, uh, keep those in my kit. So thank you for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcrafting. Please subscribe. Please view. Thank you.